people who have worked at Goodwill or other thrift stores etc and processed donations. What's the craziest thing you've found? Xbox 360 when they were new. With games. Guy said his son got in a lot of trouble so he just gave it away. A briefcase of like 30 fake plastic model flip phones. Like you would see in a Verizon store back in the day. Used syringe in a fake coach bag. This is just from a 40 hour stint. So. I worked for a charity. We picked up old clothes etc and sold them in bulk to a thrift chain. When we unloaded the truck. It was common to toss the store employees the bags. And they would catch them before stacking them on racks. Well. One time some idiot put a big chef's knife in a bag of clothes. The store employee caught the garbage bag of clothes. Wrapped his arms around it as he caught it. And proceeded to stab himself in the arm. After that. The policies were changed. We had to put the bags at the edge of the truck for them to take off. Because our insurance didn't cover us off the truck. And theirs didn't cover them in it. A sword used by a Japanese officer in World War II. A suitcase full of adult toys. A coin collection worth nearly $2000 accidentally left in a cupboard that was donated. A photo album of someone's wedding was donated amongst the belongings of the pastor that married the couple after he passed. The bride happened to be someone I went to school with. I tend to sort books at my store so have found a few odd things in there. Cash's book marks about $150. A book with carved pages to conceal some jewels and gemstones. A few first edition books on agriculture from the 1800s. Lots of handwritten recipes. Personal letters and my favorite. A letter sent in the last mail delivery from Hong Kong before the British returned it to China affixed with every stamp available at the time and mint versions of each of the stamps enclosed. I was working off some probation at the Salvation Army. Going through the boxes I found $1000 in the pocket of some plaid pants. Found out they were dropped off from a girl whose dad had died. Tried to contact her again but to no avail. I got to keep it and it helped pay my rent for the month. I was really struggling at that time so I was very grateful. A dead bat. A switchblade. A pocket watch painted with radium. And an 18th century wolf trap. Edit. I almost forgot a late 1800s book on phrenology. My so used to work at a goodwill and she said that people would donate used lingerie all the time. Typical. It's just like beer cans. I always find them. But by the time I do they're always empty. I work at a thrift store as a donation handler. Gnarliest thing I had seen was a little stack of mattresses left overnight during off hours. They were disgusting. Crawling with bugs and riddled in stains of various shades and hues. Nope the FCK out of that. Called my manager and they brought a forklift out to take them to the trash compactor. Just the other day we had a donor drop off a small crate. Like a milkrate kind of thing. Chock full of hente. Just today I found a small. Marble one hit a pipe at the bottom of the donation bin. Love letters between two people from the late 1800s. Multiple suicide letters and one suicide tape. And many diaries. One diary specifically was written by a gay man going to med school in the 70s in San Fran. It spans 10 years and has a first person account of his feelings the day Harvey Milk was assassinated. I worked for a non-profit for seniors that had a charity shop in it. People often just dropped off boxes of stuff they found in their parents attic. One box had a bunch of letters. Some of them were from World War II. When the man was stationed at Camp Carson in Colorado and one of them must have been something they were keeping from an older generation. It was a 1914 letter proposing marriage. It was so romantic. He fell in love with her when they went ice skating together. He included an advertisement for some houses they could buy. They were really nice houses. Selling for about $1500. Not a thrift store. But my job handled a lot of used items. Basically the customer or next of kin would forget what was in their contents and we would find it through cleaning. I reckon the craziest thing would be old World War II era Japanese rifle and katana. And sure of the validity of course. Because research has told me fakes flooded the market. 
but we found it ticked away in a hidden alcove in their attic with their husband's ashes and old newspapers. So who knows. Erisicas are extremely common tackerbacks. So much so that there's a meme in the gun community. Where if someone posts a hey I found this gun in grandpa's attic. What is it? The reply is always Erisica. Even if it isn't. They're not rare and not worth much but they shoot okay. Was working in a charity shop that helped support cancer patients treatments. Most people's donations were from the goodness of their hearts. But a very small minority would use the shop as a bin bag drop off. Fuck them people they are scum. Close bracket. One time two young enough dudes rock up with two small bags of clothes and two drawer type bedroom furniture. Bag of clothes was all good. Some expensive stuff at them. But each drawer had a mirror supper glued to the top of the desk. I'm standing there looking at it. Like a fool. Wondering what the hell is this all about. Turns out the Garda, Irish police, came in one of the days looking for the furniture and clothes. The two lads were drug dealers and they just dropped off the evidence. They were using the drawer to cut up coke. My co-worker found a bag of euros at Goodwill. He bought the bag for like $90 and it was worth over 600 At Goodwill. There was this castle set I was given as a Christmas present when I was 5 that was brought in. The cannon turret actually shot the little plastic rock and all the figures looked like wharfs. I never knew anyone else ever bought one in my life. So it was nice seeing it again. I worked for a goodwill program that hired developmentally disabled adults. My job was to assist the clients as they processed donations. We found things like a bowl and bag of weed in a coat pocket. A shirt that said I'm not an alcoholic I just go to AA to get chicks. Somehow that one sustained a tear and had to be trashed. And. Worst of all. A garbage bag full of dead rats. My mum works in one. I asked her if she could keep an eye out for any skin rugs. The next day she calls me. They had a goat skin donated. Not me but my friend worked at Goodwill and he had to clean a dressing room up after a guy went in there with a bunch of ladies underwear. The guy had smidge tinges all over the walls. Edit. A word. Yeah that's illegal. Your employer can't force you to clean up a biohazard without training and PPE. That is a situation where you call someone else. Back in the 90s my mom would buy those blank VHS tapes to record on and sometimes the Goodwill had some that already had stuff recorded on them. But we would just record over them. I remember one that had a bunch of Simpsons episodes. But on some of them there was porn. A lot of porn. I used to sweep the parking lot of a Goodwill and they would toss very interesting stuff in the dumpster. Hundreds of books. Like really expensive ones. Leather bound sets of classical works from the 1920s. Early prints of Sifi novels. I found a nice collectible copy of Dune recently. Family bibles stacked thick with memories. Food dehydrators. Paintings. Collectible sports memorabilia. Super valuable vintage tools and fixtures. Most of it is just stuff that nobody bothered checking the value on before chucking it out. And it's really sad. I found a destroyed collection of old Spalding baseball bats. The oldest being from the 30s. They were left in the dumpster in standing water for days at least. It's sad to see things like that go. Maybe because at one point someone loved them very much. And someone else decided that all the care it took to collect these treasures was a waste. Worked at a value village a long time ago and a co-worker found cremated ashes. They were in a box that had the funeral home info on it so our manager contacted them about it. Mom was salvaging aluminium at the landfill and found over 300 ash remains from the local crematory. The police got called he got shut down and 40 years later his daughter still hates my guts and will go out if her way to harm me for my mother's find. I don't work at one. But I do know that my grandma donated a bunch of old suits my great grandfather wore to the Salvation Army. Turns out when she told my great grandma what she did when she met back up with her again. She explained to her how she sewed up a bunch of cash in the lining of the jackets and pants. She was a paranoid old woman that had luck for miles though. She was always winning money on bingo and other raffles. Wild how that stuff can be right under your nose and you don't notice it. 
I did some volunteering for a charity and we had a donation drop off day. It got pretty busy and we were a bit overwhelmed. A woman. Whom I'd say was in her 50s and quite overweight. Came by and dropped off a bunch of boxes. As we were helping her unload them from her truck. One of the boxes dropped to the ground and tore open. Several dildos rolled out. You could see that they weren't clean. She laughed it off and said oh. Those were supposed to stay on the truck. I'm heading to the trash dump after. Double quote. Not sure if that was true or not. But the stains on those dildos were disgusting. Some of us started dry heaving as soon as she left. I use shop goodwill. Come all the time. They had a whole Studebaker car on there the other day. Also rooftop a sea units like you'd see on a warehouse. Ton of uranium glass but it goes quick. Whiskey figurines. Many of them were full. But some were not. Of course we had to dispose of them. Because alcohol is flammable. And Goodwill does not have a liquor license. In one day I found a bong. A bubbler. Empty bottles of alcohol. A full bottle of tequila. Empty cigarette packs. And bags of pills. Whoever donated all this shti also donated their backpack which had their nursing ID in it. LOL. Not me but my aunt. One of the few surviving Enigma machines. The owner passed away and his family dropped it off with a box of newspapers and some memorabilia from the war etc. My aunt being a history nut. Figured out what it was. Got it appraised, worth almost UQ 100k, and looked for the family for 5 months before being able to return it to them. She didn't have a heart to take it under false pretenses. I work at a value village, savers in the US, and there is far far too much underwear donated. And there is an uncomfortable amount of items in the intimate apparel section and these get bought far too much. My brother works at Value Village and he comes home almost daily with crazy stories. Grossest thing he's ever told me about was a bag full of used pads. Like all stained nasty ass colors. Very clearly used for a long period of time. This person also thought hey somebody can use these more. Still makes me shiver every time I think about it. A few years ago. When there was an earthquake in Mexico City. Many people were donating old clothes and stuff for people who were now homeless. I found a pair of pants that were as tall as me. And each leg could fit me inside of it. This isn't crazy but will tell you a lot about how negligent people can be. Someone donated a big box of Legos. Now that's fine. Unless there were sets we would just stick them in freezer bags. But we had a lot of intake that day and the box was pushed to the back. About a week later we're getting flies and noticing a stench. I start tracking the stench and decide to open the box. The guy had left a package of chicken thighs in there. Still sealed mind you. But looking very green. Needless to say we dumped the legus. I worked for a charity shop for a year during my time at university. Once we got a huge donation of clothes in the middle of the night. Like someone just dropped a massive pile of clothing in front of the entry and f head off. That's not cool and usually people do it cause they want to get rid of trash cheaply. But damn this time there were a pair of Gucci men's shoes in there. We all didn't know how to tell if they were fake or real and went to ask a neighbor shoe shop and they were real. And not only real also very old and in great condition. We sold them on an auction for a lot of money. Used to work for a homelessness charity shop. We regularly encountered biohazards of various kinds stored inside bags of clothes which was irritating. Donations of funeral urns were pretty regular and kinda weird emo. I worked at Goodwill on and off for 4 years and saw SX toys. Dirty underwear. A box of crickets. A snake. A bag of dog poop that had to sit in our compactor for a whole week. A social security card. A used syringe in a purse. One time a lady walked in with two mice on her shoulder. Went to the bathroom. Came out without them. And left the store. Open bracket. A friend of mine works at a thrift store in Canada. An older woman volunteer donated some things a year or so after her husband died. In the donation was a German knife from Thenisirogym. The woman SND her husband were German and moved here after World War II. 
turns out he was in the German military at the time. No clue as to whether or no they were straight up Nazis or if they were forced and he simply kept the knife. She stopped volunteering immediately after the donation. I don't work at one but I was dropping some stuff off there as employees were bringing things in. I asked them this exact question. They said that people are using the Salvation Army drop off as their garbage drop off. They said about 25% of donations are bags of garbage and broken products that curbside garbage pickup won't take. It's sad. They also said they find a lot of SX toys being donated in the same bags with kids toys. My mom works at Goodwill. I just asked her this question. Her answer a suitcase full of SX toys. I help my husband run an antique store. We found 80 year old still in the bottle perfume inside a pinnock basket. Used to work in a charity bookshop. They'd get so many donations that there were just piles of books everywhere waiting to be sorted. Some from years and year ago. I was digging through them and found an old wildlife book with old fashioned color plate prints of birds. Looked it up and it was worth you a cute 600 or more. Just sat there under the sorting table propping up other books. I could have given them you a cute 20 and taken it. But my conscience got the better of me. Damn conscience. Not a worker. But someone who found stuff. I managed to find an old 1991 Thomas train set still in good condition until the children of my brother's ex decided to ruin everything. I will never forget the wonders that is goodwill. I work at a thrift store in the Netherlands. Usually I sort books. When fun things come in the guys usually show me. So like 2 years ago. A red case came in through the garbage dump, we've got an agreement with them. Nice things are put aside for us to pick up and sell. If their employees want anything they put a note on it and can pick it up for a small amount of money. Anyway. The red case. It contained all adult toys for an SM session. All was properly cleaned. My boss thought it was gross and tossed it in the garbage. My boyfriend who also works there and a co-worker took it out of the trash and hid it. Just to wait for our boss to forget it. Half a year passes. The case is still hidden and it's finally time to have some fun. We head to the store after hours, BF is manager and has a key, and we start out decorating the office. Drag in a doll from the clothes department and give it a strap on. Butt plugs in the register. Things like that. Everything accompanied by little notes. Suggesting really naughty things. Our boss came to work the next morning and he found it really funny. Cleaned everything up before customers came in and tossed it in the trash again. Last week boss and BF were cleaning up in the back. Guess what they found? Edit. OMG thank you kind stranger for my very first award. The nose propeller thing from a Cessna aircraft. How or why it ended up there I don't know. But it was cool to see. An envelope filled with unknown white powder scared the heck out of me but no one took my concern seriously. And I never got sick so that's that. And of course the obligatory bags of dirty socks and underwear. Knives in random places. Loads of dildos. A few guns and bullets. And enough syringes to fill a small doctor's office. The strangest was a syringe stuck into a fake houseplant.